G'day, my name's Hannah Maloney from Good Life Permaculture, coming to you from Nipaluna the Chibuta in Hobart, Tasmania. So I'm sitting in my little kale forest here. You'll notice that these kale trees are trees. <laughs> Usually they're much lower on the ground, but most of you will be able to, if you're growing kale, be able to train it up to these tall perennial little trees that we do. So what we've done here is that we plant them as little baby seedlings and just harvest just the mature leaves around the base of them. And when you do that, it encourages them to grow this trunk and they'll just keep going higher and higher and higher and higher until you have something like this, which is gorgeous. Um, and we'll keep harvesting just the mature trees, the mature leaves, sorry, the bigger things around the base. And we'll keep them going up as long as we can. These kale plants have been uh, here for almost two years now and they've, they've probably got another year in them, which is, which is great. Um, but there are a few things you can do to keep them going longer. Uh, after a while you'll notice that little leaves are starting to grow out of the trunk and that if you leave them they'll become bigger and bigger and you can choose to do that but usually I'll just scrape them off really quickly um, uh, so I can put all the energy into the top leaf head as well uh, or if your plant's getting older you're worrying about it just falling over because it's so tall or it's starting to show signs of just um, dying off you can get some sharp secateurs and you can cut it just above the leaf that you want to keep. So I usually go quite low because you want it to kind of have a fresh start. So I'll cut it quite low and you repeat the process. So I think I've had my oldest plant around three and a half, four plus years old by cutting it down towards the base. And you can go down to the ground even um, and it shoots up new leaves again and you repeat a similar process. We love these little tips because it helps us have fresh greens year round. So rather than having just lettuces or just rocket plants or mitsuna, which requires quite a lot of water and attention, these kale plants are really hardy, become perennial. And we're always looking at how we can kind of angle our food crops to be more perennial because they're um, high yields and low inputs, which is a fantastic thing. Oh, and if you're wondering how to eat kale, you can just eat it fresh, but it's a little bit, oh no. It's all right, <laughs> not my favorite. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of just um, steaming it with veggies, but I make kale chips as well, which I'll put a link to a blog down below that I've written about how to do that, which is delicious. Um, but obviously stir fry, soups, all the things. Like there is many clever things this kale plant can go into. Um, so it's um, beautifully nutritious and can be greatly, greatly de delicious, greatly delicious, very delicious. <laughs>